Hi there, welcome to our AI Mastery Center video. And today we are continuing our prompt mastery. And so each week for the next five weeks, we are going to be sharing how to generate good prompts in ChatGPT. I have a guide for you, which is our ChatGPT prompt guide for mortgage and real estate professionals. It's available in the link before. Even if you're not a real estate or mortgage professional, you can use these prompts as ideas in your business. And so grab the guide. It's in the link in the description below and then follow along. And we're going to hop in and get into ChatGPT and I'm going to show you what this prompt looks like. So let's get started. So let's dive right in. And I am for this month, I'm focusing on doing prompts. That's probably the biggest question that I get from people is how do we become better at prompting? So I have access to this guide. It's our chat GPT prompts for mortgage and real estate professionals. Obviously a lot of focus we do in those two industries. And so you can download the guide. It's in the description on a link below. So grab that. It's free. You can start using it. And then the other thing, if you really want to learn how to use chat GPT, I have an online course and it is from beginning to end that goes through everything you need to know about using chat GPT, how to set up your GPTs, how to do customization, what prompting is, all of those things. So if you use the code chat, C-H-A-T, then it takes $100 off and totally worth it. It's like 10 hours worth of content, short little clippets you can watch on your time. But this is one of the things I want to focus on is being able to use some prompts. So in this guide, the prompt that I'm going to show today is this. It's a 30 day social media content idea. And so the idea is, and remember, we always want to set our ATM method. So act like, and in this case, we're going to be a real estate agent and then tell it what we want in the message. So ATM, that's the best method for your prompting what you're gonna act like, what you're gonna tell it to do, and then what the message is. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna copy this here, and we're going to act like a real estate agent. And so here we're gonna take this and we're gonna go over into chat. Now we are using ChatGPT 4.0 plus, so it's a $20 a month. And I have set up a customized GPT that I've called Agent Marketing GPT. We've configured it. So I'm showing you here, we have set up very specific instructions on here, how to use open AI's chat GPT prompt guide, how to um, resource everything, what we want as far as the information. We've also preloaded everything in here as far as all the websites and what that looks like. And so everything, when you set up a customized GPT with all of your information, it's fantastic. You can set up uh, conversation starters and then you can also upload your knowledge in there. So I just wanted to show you on the back end what I'm using because if you are not setting up your GPT correctly, you're not using chat GPT to its full. So I really recommend hop in, take our ChatGPT mastery course. We're going to walk you through this and new content to it all the time. So it's totally worth it. But let's put this prompt in. So we copied that. We're going to paste it in here and then we're going to send it off. So we want it to act like a real estate expert, create a monthly content calendar for staging services with 22 pieces of content for one month. So we want four weekly real videos and static posts. We want to provide a table with the following information. And so here it is giving very quickly an idea as far as what that looks like. I am always so amazed at fast chat works. And so it looks like it's kind of putting things into a couple 18 to 22 to 20. It looks like that's the calendar there. So now let's see what this looks like, because that's what I want to know. So we have day one, it's given us a static post, and it's given us a theme before and after the magic of staging. And it's given us a description and then the engagement strategy. So encourage followers to comment which room they'd love to see transform next week. I like that idea. The next one is is a real video, so short video, and it's speed staging. So this would be fun to do if you have an open house that you're doing, a living room in 60 seconds. And you could totally set that up on your phone to record it of staging and then just speed it up when you get ready to process it. I like that. So a fast paced video showing the transformation of a living room. People love the visual, so this is a really good idea. And then it says, ask viewers to tag a friend who needs a living room makeover. Very cool. Hey, here's an idea. If you're a real estate agent or if you're a mortgage loan officer, Michael, 
gosh, grab a stager and say, hey, let's do this. I'm going to feature you in the video. And then they have a static post, staging on a budget, top five tips, share budget friendly staging tips, prompt the followers to share their own budget tips. I love the engagement strategy it gives here. And then it's got day five, static post, color psychology. Would have never thought of that. Educate on how different colors can affect buyer's perception. So I love that idea. And so it goes through, we have decluttering before and after, staging to sell versus staging to live, the impact of outdoor spaces. We have some do-it-yourself tips, why staging matters, furniture arrangement arrangements 101, love that, transforming a small space. So you honestly could take this and it looks like they've got a series here, which is a featured staging transformation. So it's a three-part series showcasing a start to finish staging. Love this. These are all fantastic ideas. So now I'm going to push it a little bit. And so what I want to do is I want it to create um, all of my static posts. Now we're going to push it a little bit. We'll see what it does. So create a social media post. For all the static posts. Now we'll see if it'll actually do this and what that looks like. Sometimes it does okay, sometimes it doesn't. So now it's giving us, this is so cool, because it's giving you what to post onto social media. So you honestly could take this, you could make a short little video or you could make a nice little graphic in Canva. And if you don't wanna take the time to do what it's suggesting on the videos, which I love. So it just did nine of them. So let's see, I don't know if we have all of them. So it doesn't look like it got all of them but if you and, and sometimes it doesn't always go all the way and that's part of it is learning in the prompting but let's say we're just going to pick on this one so we're going to do a static post and so we're going to do a couple of things here so create a social media post for the following and we're just gonna paste that in there. And so now it's gonna pull in why color matters, and now it's giving us some more details. So if you get into chat and you are only getting a light little bit of what it's giving you back, give it just a little tiny bit and it will give you more. So I really like this. Now we're gonna push it again and say, can you give me a graphic? And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So it interacts with Dolly, D-A-L-L-E, -L -L -E, to create images. You could also go in and go into Canva, and I'll show you that in just a second, but we'll see what it comes back with. Sometimes they're okay. Sometimes they put really funny graphics on it. Yeah, so the words I can tell you are not great right now because it has before, after, after, our transform. Your is not, the words aren't correct on that one. So. We'll say make a graphic without words and see what it does. So now we're gonna get an idea if it actually comes back. Dolly is not perfect, I can tell you that. And again, over time it will improve, but it seems like it never does the words correctly. And so living room before, after, yeah. But we kind of get the idea. I like what it's doing with that. And so we can again prompt it again without text. So maybe, maybe we can see if that will work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But I do like what it does. Did, and you think about the psychology of what it did, it took a gray room and then it put the color in it. Okay, so now that's better. So here you could take this and it's given the idea of the color, what color can make. And so, you know, I like that idea. You could probably throw that into Canva and be able to uh, create something of that. But I'm gonna give you a little bonus here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab this prompt right here. I'm gonna copy this. And then we're going to go back over here on our dashboard. We're gonna click on Explore our GPTs and that's going to take us into the GPT store. And so here we're gonna type in Canva and we're gonna open up Canva. And what we're gonna do is we're going to ask it to make a graphic for this post.
and we'll see what it comes back with. So because Canva has its own GPT, and so now you need to be signed into Canva, I will tell you that. And so I've already done that, so I'm going to allow it. When you sign into Canva and you connect the uh, ChatGPT with your Canva account, then it's going to automatically work through what they call a plugin. And so what it's going to do is it's going to create our graphics here. And so that one is not bad, color at home. So let's say, give me a comparison. When you get into Canva, then the letters get a little bit better. So we're going to click on always allow because I know that that plugin works with Canva and we're going to go ahead and let it do that. Sometimes it'll give you two different options. Sometimes it doesn't give us the two different options. It only gives us one. And so now it's giving us a couple of different options and so not great. And so I'm going to ask it, Give me a living room with color. And so it's funny because Dolly was a little more perceptive of the idea of the progression of color, whereas ChatGPT connecting with the Canva plugin, not quite as perceptive, still kind of getting the idea, but not quite as much. And so now you're seeing it's creating, so that whole link right there is what Canva is building um, through ChatGPT. It's so amazing to watch this technology guys at work. I sometimes just am absolutely marveled at what we are seeing happening before our very eyes. I mean, it's what used to take forever to do some of these things. So I'm gonna click on the second one. It's gonna open it up in Canva. This is my Canva account. And so here you see, we've got some different options. So it put a couple of pictures in here. And so, and you can have refresh your living room today. Not bad. So if you're in a pinch, you could say, hey, you know what, that works. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take this prompt that I have up here, why color matters. I'm gonna post that onto social media or I'm gonna give that to my VA or I'm gonna give that to my company who does that and I'm good to go. So that was it for this prompt. Hey, reminder, if you truly want to learn how to use ChatGPT, just like what we're going through, hop onto my chat. GPT Mastery course. And you can find that at aimasterycenter.com. If you use the code chat, C-H-A-T, takes $100 off. Hey, make sure and comment in the comments below how these are working, what's working, what you're finding, what your questions are. This is such an amazing time with everything that we have, the opportunities we have right now. And I'm excited to, to see what you have to share with me. So make sure and do that. Always follow us, hit the little bell button, all those kind of things. Um, we do videos every week, if not more often. And I'm excited to see what your videos look like.